Hey there, I'm Daisy Whitney reporting for BTV at AdTech San Francisco. Had the chance to talk to a representative from the Writers Guild of America who is tasked with figuring out the role that the union will play in the online video business. Here's what she had to say. So tomorrow, tell us about your role at the WGA because it's a new position. Yeah, I started at the WGA in mid-December and it's a new position that's really focusing on what's going on with the original content video, on, original video content online. When the WGA writers went on strike a couple of years ago, we got jurisdiction over new media. So the Guild thought that it would be a really good decision to have a dedicated person to looking at what's really happening in the space. How is original content being made? How is it making or not making money? Um, what are brands interested in since the lines between, advertisement, between advertising and entertainment are becoming more and more blurred? So that's what I'm doing there. So what role exactly will the WGA play in monitoring online video and what writers are creating? Well, I think that's actually part of what we're trying to figure out, and that's part of why they hired me. You know, the exciting thing about online video is it's new. It's like the wild, wild west. Nobody has figured out exactly how it works. But the one thing that is constant is that the WGA really wants to protect the idea of a professional, creative person. So ultimately, no matter what arena a writer is working in, we want to make sure that a writer can get paid for their intellectual property, and things can be fair and equitable. We have a whole new set of contracts that deal with new media, and again, the barriers to entry are very low so that people can experiment with them as the whole industry is experimenting with online content. The writers can be a part of that. So what are the challenges that writers have run up against and how are you seeking to protect them, if you will? Well, the challenges that writers have run up against is that really there is no one model that's working. You know, TV, film, that's been established for a really long time. Everybody's trying different things in the online space. So sometimes you're working with a brand and you've got to figure out as a writer how to creatively integrate with that. Sometimes you're doing something on your own and suddenly you're not just the writer, you're the producer and you're the grip and you're the caterer. So there's a whole new level of skills that become involved. And sometimes it's really about you go and you create something and exciting because you've got your independent production out there. But you've also got to figure out how do you let the world know about this. But these are questions that the entire industry is looking at. So at the Writers Guild, we just want to be a part of that conversation. We want to form relationships with tech companies, with distributors, so that we can be part of the mix. So final question for you. Should we ex be expecting any new rules or guidelines or anything like that in terms of operating an online video for writers? Well, the next set of negotiations isn't until 2011. So I think we're going to stay right where we are. We've got the 2000 MBA that's clear. If anybody has questions about that, they can go to www.wga.org and there's all kinds of easy information there. Excellent. Thank you so much, Mara. Thank you.